It's our time. We are in here. The punks starting our new life. New beginnings. Thank you, God. The proof. And yes, it is true. He goes hard for me and my family. He never left us alone, nor did he forsake us. He keeps all of our secrets. And because of this, we keep that daily walk with him over every situation. And in my response, proof. We do pray all the way through. We all hold power over life and death for us. Place God first. He is solid. Plan out some things that will change your life. We forever great. Amen. We're back. Yes, we're back. And we're getting things back. <laughs> back at work. I just miss class. <laughs> <sighs> that accident, we didn't pay attention to any other times. Yeah. So, but luckily my my professor cool. So yeah, <laughs> it was a Zoom class. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, other than that, a little mishap. Today's been pretty all right mm -hmm. with class. I'm liking school so far, or just liking the semester so far. Yeah. Yeah. So. You can see the benefits of it, right? Yeah, I can definitely. And you can see definitely the see that it's really going to make a difference mm -hmm. in your life, right? Yeah. So versus not going to college, mm -hmm. you can't see yourself not doing it, could it? No, nah, because like me personally, if I never went to college, I would have got a tr went to a trade school. Because like, because like my. At least my goals was to either go to college or go to trade school. But of course, I wanted to go to college, so boom, college. But uh, yeah, it just like I would have had multiple backup plans. I feel like yeah. But I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I still wish I went to trade school so I can actually work a decent job and go to school. But I feel like that probably would have been a little too much. Problem so for you yeah. just to start now. But, yeah, but I wanted him to see the difference that it was to have ambition, to want something, to value yourself. Because a lot of times, well, especially where we're from, the young men and some women don't do that. Mm -hmm. And they don't have guidance to say, like, look, your future is already set for you. You're going to do this, that, and the third until you figure out what you want to do or, you know, something to that nature. Mm -hmm. So. Cause like, that's definitely true. Cause like, at least when it came to my age group and like my classmates, a lot of them, like, I kind of felt like I was the exception cause I already knew what I wanted to do outside of like high school and just public school in general. But like, a lot of my classmates, like they ain't really like share what they wanted to do outside of like school besides oh go to college or get like a degree but like they didn't really explain like exactly what career they wanted or what career they had in mind and like me I knew probably I want to say early on yeah definitely like elementary actually yeah. I wanted to do something with game design yeah though that kind of changed like over the years Cause like now I want to specifically be an animator, whether it's 2D or 3D. You know, me personally, I'd probably do both. Cause That's like fine. I like both, but yeah, very early on, I already knew what I wanted to do. So being able to prepare for that was a lot easier. And plus, yeah, it was just, yeah. I, I, I just feel like, you just need to drill into like the younger generation's head that like, hey, you can chase a dream, mm -hmm. but you gotta prepare for that dream. So you gotta be willing to put in the work to do the dream. Yeah. Yeah, so. And then another thing that was brought to my attention was with, with the youth is that so many are going through so many things as far as not going to school and all that. Mm -hmm. So when I'm a senior, who's gonna be my doctor? Who's gonna take care? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, as far as being doctors and lawyers and stuff like that, mm -hmm. we don't have 
two minutes and it's like one in four make it out they're really you know it's inspired to do something which is mm -hmm. i wouldn't say it's strange because it's not it's been like that for a while but it, i feel if you at least put your children on the right path they should be able to mm -hmm. get a grasp of mm -hmm. something you know yeah to make their life easier when they grow up and everything mm -hmm. so because like I feel I'm like that. I feel like knowing what you want to do beforehand, like mm -hmm. I wouldn't say like super early, like I did where I like I was in elementary already know what I wanted to do, but like at least maybe near the end of middle school to like the beginning of high school is where you should start preparing mm -hmm. and researching like what you want to do and why you want to do it, because yeah. My main thing is is that work jobs that you personally love to do. Cuz like it doesn't matter if you're making 100,000, 200,000 dollars a year if you're not, you know, connected you like to the job, if you yeah. don't like the job. Mm -hmm. Because you pretty much messing with your balance, your life balance just to make some extra money that the way this economy is probably ain't gonna mean nothing for for I mean two hundred thousand dollars is a lot, but yeah. again, like you pretty much sacrificing a lot. Try making seventeen thousand a year. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you wanna have to get one. Say that again. In the room. My cheesy man. Say hey to the camera. Say hey. Hey. Hi guys. Hi guys. Say how are you? Hi. So I've been eating some Cheetos. <laughs> Alright, go finish playing. Love you. <laughs> Tea later. Welcome. Okay. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, you gotta excuse that one. <laughs> he knows no boundaries. No, let me stop. Let me stop. That's my baby. My second baby, my second love. Yeah. But yeah, so with me, as far as the difference is, is um coming up I watch my mom like sort of struggle because our age group is not too far off. Like of course, you know, she had me young and everything. So we struggled a lot and then like with my dad, he was doing his own thing. So to see her at least try and knowing that she needed the help, it was a no brainer to me to just want to stay home and help her. But the older I got, it was like, wait a minute. Well, I can't do but so much without a degree or trade or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong. You can't find decent jobs. And sometimes on some jobs, it's not what you know, it's who you know. But in certain cases, like as far as Wanting to do something, mm -hmm. you know, you want to do something in your life, but you don't know what to do. Yeah, it's kind of like that where you really don't know what you want to do, but you try something anyway. Mm -hmm. Mine was like in the beginning when I first um, wanted to do it, I actually wanted to be a news anchor mm -hmm. because I seen the first black lady on TV. I, yeah. yeah, I seen the first black lady on TV hosting the news, mm -hmm. and I wanted to do the news. But being that um, <coughs> circumstances mm -hmm. and environmental, well, you really can't blame it on that. But you just, me just not knowing, and you get talked out of things, like whether it be for, from family or anything like that, or friends, they can talk you out of stuff because they don't look at it as, it's not their dream, so they don't see it the way that you see it. But I felt like if, you know, Nana would have known what I wanted to do and she would have stayed on me. Yes. Then, I, not to say that our situation is terrible or something like that, because we have everything that we ever wanted. Like, mm -hmm. we worked hard to get yeah. this house. We yeah, got we, it. We do it much better. <laughs> on our own, you yeah, know. Much well, better. thanks to God, you know, mm -hmm. that um, we were able to get it and everything. But yeah, so 
I don't want him to wait until, you know, he's at that age where life has passed him by and he has no clue of what he want to do or just to see you struggle mm -hmm. when I already know what it is. Like, mm -hmm. I watch Nana do it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that I'm struggling, but if I would have applied myself, I know I would have been able to do a lot better mm -hmm. than what I'm doing now. So. Yeah. With me knowing that, I already know the drill it in you. Mm -hmm. Education is everything. Education can get you anywhere yeah. and take you places that you can't do for yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that I wanted you to see. But he's seen it, so I'm guessing that mm -hmm. he seen me walking miles in my shoes, <laughs> didn't give up. Yeah. But yeah. But like, I just, you know, I just want to make a better life. For both her, my brother, and of course me, but and eventually yeah. just you know sprout my wings, make my own little nest, yeah. my own little family. But we're gonna be all yeah. right. So I don't want you to worry. Like as far as that, me and your brother, I don't want you to worry about that. I want you to focus on you, yeah, and getting you together. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's that's my my pet peeve. Like with my mama, I see my mom struggling. So I wanted to help her, but I don't want that to be his crush to say, well, I got to help my mom, you know, my little brother out to do this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. And no, I'm, I'm not going to ride your back like that. I mean, but when you do blow, we are coming with him. We going to be living in this house. Mm -hmm. We ain't going to pay no bills. Mm -hmm. We going to eat all his food and not clean nothing. Yeah. That's the plan. That's the plan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now the cow already on board. <laughs> yeah, of course he's gonna be on board. Mr. Messy. He already on board. Yeah, but no. Cheeto man. <laughs> but no. All jokes aside, but yeah, we we really have to get our future ready. Like the children, we we have to prepare them because if we don't, they're gonna have no clue of what they want to do, and they're gonna be easily led astray. Mm -hmm. And when I say led astray, I mean talking about. Want to stay out all night and party, do drugs, drink, mm -hmm. all of the above. I'm not, not saying that there's something wrong with that. In moderation. Yeah. Yeah. If you do it every yeah, day, all like, the time. Yeah. Man. Every day, like well, I'm a cool fast, like I was true. doing. It becomes a, a habit, a problem, mm -hmm. an issue. So when it's time to free yourself from it, I guess. I can say free yourself from it. Mm -hmm. Just well, personally, I know that I have to do something else to take my mind off of it. Especially if I'm still in that same environment where I know that I have access to it. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So if I know that the corner store right here, I'm gonna go and buy the booze, mm -hmm. the beer and stuff. But instead of me doing that, just take up hobbies and stuff to get my mind off of it. Yeah. To keep you know just just keep me. On track, pretty much. So, like, you ever heard a saying that if you want change, you have to leave your old environment? Mm -hmm. And that's for anything. Like, especially if you um addicted to anything, and you know these certain people in this area where you mm -hmm. normally be Being at. bad influence. Yeah. So you know you can't hang out with mm -hmm. them people no more. You have to change that environment. Yeah. So it's pretty much like that. But it's just I'm just doing it myself. I'm self-teaching myself mm -hmm. how to not lean on the alcohol you know so it's been a struggle but i've been making it i've been yeah, doing she been doing pretty good yeah i've been doing real yeah, good i'm proud of her i'm I, mm -hmm. i'm getting healthy i need my health so mm -hmm. it, the doctor said it was time to stop so it was time to stop yeah she got, <laughs> she got the strength yeah so every day like i say you take it one day at a time one step at a time one breath at a time. Mm -hmm. Always stay prayed up. Pray about everything. Worry about nothing. Find something for you to do. Mm -hmm. Whether it be to, to go to school or further your education or get a trade skill or something. Just, just do something other than what your normal behavior was. So like with mm -hmm. me, just changing my my daily routine. So instead of me getting off work in the morning, Give me a bill to help me go to sleep. I just pray and meditate until I 
fall asleep now. So, and then now I'm so tired sometimes in the morning, I just instantly just fall asleep. So, my <laughs> body just naturally do it now. <laughs> mm -hmm. But in the beginning, yeah, I did use the alcohol to help me sleep. Yeah. And it's not an excuse, but hey, it was one that I was using that worked for me. And I didn't, to me, it, I didn't have a problem. But to everyone else around me, yeah, it was like, okay, baby, you're doing this a little too much, you yeah. know. So, hey. Yeah, that's like, I wouldn't say like, like, like real bad problem, but it's like, it was, it was just a tiny bit, like, a yeah, little, a little bit too much. But man. I guess with him, what was not embarrassing for you was I just stayed in the house, yeah, I drank my little drink and I just stay inside. Yeah. I guess it would have been awful if I drank my drink and I'm all outside and you got to go and get me because yeah. I done fell down and scraped my knees up. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> Come back it is one thing <laughs> I can say about my mom. I have to, there was never any night where I had to I I carry not her in the house like that. or just be embarrassed because she was drunk, <laughs> which I'm thankful because if she had my dad bad habits, oh, for Toxic. I told you we came from saying. toxic beginnings, but hey, <laughs> we here. Yeah. My sons made it. They in one piece. They ain't strung out on drugs. Mm -hmm. Addicted to any drugs that I know of, or it locked up in jail. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Even with my mishaps, mm -hmm. <laughs> I still believe I did a good job. Even with the mishaps, like yeah. think about it, like. At first, I was taken back, like, somebody hurt my feelings, like, you were born in a household of alcoholics. And I was like, what? No, I won't. And then I thought about the situation. <laughs> oh, yes, I was. <laughs> I was raised by alcoholics. That's messed up. Could be, it's messed up because it's kind of true. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, got exposed family, Loki, but yeah, yeah it's kind of true. <laughs> it, it's all in love, though. It's yeah. all in love. But yeah. we finally, eventually, got it together. Some yeah. of us sooner than others, but mm -hmm. hey, we're doing it. We here. We still standing. We still hanging in there. We still holding on. I'm still prayed up. I'm still praying because every day. Every day I'm getting challenged, I'm getting faced with something mm -hmm. that I have to either think twice about the situation, hold my tongue. Mm -hmm. Well, I would say hold my peace, but I don't have a peace. <laughs> I don't have a peace yet. But no, no, no. No, but um, yeah, it's just every day you have to think, go in the store, you know, on the days where you feel like, oh, they just got on my nerve, I can't do this, I can't do that. And you go in the store and that, that bill looking at you like bad me. That wine is like come to you ain't had me in a while, come taste me. Mm -hmm. You have to still fight those yeah. urges, you know. Yeah. You got break through. And it yeah, it's sad like going to the grocery store, it shouldn't be that hard. You should make your list go in, and get what you want to come out, and not have a whole combo. <laughs> mm -hmm. of, Wombo of combo. The, the liquor talking to you, trying to coerce you into buying them. <laughs> but no. Yeah. Like I said, we've come a long way. Dumb. I can say we're, we're not where we were five years ago. Thank God for that. Yeah. Yeah, because. That, that was hard time. Thing. Yeah. But we'll tell, tell you that on another story. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, story time with uh, Chris and Mommy. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. So that's for another story time. But, anywho's, like I said, I got my baby in the building. He's going to be celebrating his. 20th. 20th birthday. I got a two. I'm gonna have a 20 year old, y'all. <laughs> a 20 year tomorrow. <laughs> Who did that? I get like, what? What happened? No. <laughs> yes, I will have a 20 year old, and I'm proud of my baby. Yeah. My big papa. That's my big papa. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of my big papa. So, I'm extremely proud that. Nothing went wrong with <laughs> you. You're in one piece. Yeah. Well, mostly. One that, this right here, we, we need to work on this. Yeah. We, I admit it. We could need we, some therapy. Yeah, gonna, a little therapy. Yeah. A little, little more working out. <laughs> a little more. Some we therapy, here. working out. We here. We stand and yeah. we holding out. <laughs> Definitely some detox because my nose is stuffy. Mm -mm. I need to hit, hit that steam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, Malachi gave all of us the um, heebie jeebies. Yeah. We don't know what we have. We tested COVID. It's not COVID, so yeah, we don't know COVID. what it is. 
because it wasn't fun. No, not at all. My ears are clogged, nose are running. Mm -hmm. I sound so coughing. Crazy, I sound like I'd be so scared to cough. This is not the day and age to cough. Right? Like, oh my not god! Not the day and age. Especially if you sound like you're coughing up a lung. Yeah. Especially if you cough more than once. Mm -hmm. they, they'd be like, like wait a minute, that that had a little bite to it. Yeah. <laughs> But no. <laughs> Sound like a bomb went off. <coughs> like, mm -hmm. like, oh my god. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Know the feeling. Know the feeling all too well. But yeah, guys, so we're not gonna um hang out too late. Chris still has work to do. I still have yeah. work to do. I'm gonna um <sighs> attempt to do a voice over y'all. So this is gonna be my first voice over, but y'all will see that on the next segment. But I'm gonna attempt to do it, even though Chris is right here helping me. <laughs> he goes, I was say super it, it's a lot easier than right. what she thinks. What she think it is, it's a lot easier. I know, and some of the stuff he's been showing, it's like, oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. okay, nice. Also, be on the lookout for some more music because we we got y'all with that. It's on the way. More prayers. It's on the way. It's on the way. It's yeah. on the way. Prayers is on, on the way. way. Prayers is <laughs> on the way. Are you ready for Jehovah's return? Okay, not Jehovah. <laughs> not, not Jehovah now. We just Je yeah. it's all love, yeah. guys. It's all love. Yeah. It's all love. But yeah, we're not gonna hold you guys up. We don't want y'all at my door. Yeah, we're not opening the door. <laughs> don't come for us, please don't. Please don't. Have you heard of the Lord and Savior Jesus I, Christ? I promote peace, peace, please, peace. <laughs> But yeah, on that note, we're not gonna hold you guys up. We love you guys. We thank you for all the the views <laughs> from all ten of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it's better. Hey, it's better say, than hey, nothing. We appreciate we get it. There. Slowly but surely, we get there. So we appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. we appreciate all the love. Mm, thank Come you. In. We we really do. We really you the do. best. So you should like, share. Subscribe. Subscribe. Should I ask for a comment? Because they might bite our heads off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, y'all can comment if y'all want to. I'm scared. Yeah, I don't know. At least Should don't I? come at our necks now. I hate it. And just remember this. We are here to uplift one another. Not tear each other down. Okay? So, think twice before you comment. If you do want to leave a comment, think twice about it. Okay? We're here to uplift, <laughs> not tear one another down. So with that being said, if it be a month through, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Bye, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so here we had a grill set up. Just grilling out. We're gonna do some hamburgers and hot dogs and. Just sit out here and enjoy the view. Gonna roast some s'mores and just enjoy what God has blessed us with, you know? This is just beautiful out here. Beautiful. And it's not a whole lot, but it's ours. Just right for me and the boys. You guys agree? Mm -hmm. Chris on the, on the grill. Yep. Malachi just enjoying himself. Yeah. We gonna do some okay. some some mores later yeah. on, right, big guy? Cheese. We gonna do some some mores. Yeah. We gonna do some some mores later on. But yeah, look at that scenery. This is what we've been blessed with. So we enjoy it. We're gonna enjoy it to the fullest. Make the most of it. Just live our life. Chris is setting up the thing so we can um, make out some more. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be ghetto though, we burn the mail. <laughs> we burn the mail. Make out some more. We so ghetto, but that's all right. This is us. Make some hamburgers. Hot dogs already made. And we're just gonna throw them on the grill. Malachi and I are gonna eat some s'mores yeah. and just enjoy. Say hi. Say hi to the people. Hi. hi. Yeah. 
All right, so we're gonna finish getting started, finishing up, and we'll be back. As previously started, um, as you can see, I made some arrangements and I got the um, <laughs> onions diced up that we're gonna put in the hamburgers. I'm gonna dice them up a little bit more, so this should be all that we need. Cause it's just a small, small thing of meat, and it's just ah! us. So oh, no, no, this will no, no, be good for us. But yeah, this is nice. Mm -hmm. Check out the scenery. Right over back. here, mesmerized by the fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She got the scenery. Yeah, it's very nice, and relaxing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just give you a time, a moment to think about the goodness that God has done for us, how He has blessed us, and. Just to be thankful in so many ways, and this is just the, the beauty of it all. Mm -hmm. You know, you get to share all of this with your loved ones. So that's what I love most about it. Family time. Mm -hmm. She's going crazy, crazy. <laughs> Dicey. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like them, but I don't like them really big. Yeah. So, no. this is fine. No. Not for me. And then that way, if, if it's someone that really don't care for onions, they won't know that they're eating onions. If you dice them up, it's fine. Mm -hmm. And nice. So, yeah, so this is how we're spending our Sunday. Enjoying our time together, days off. Finish with school work. Get a little meal in. Yep. In between times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wanna zoom in one more time? Mm-hmm. Look at them onions. Yep. Nice and diced. Nice and diced. And small enough so that one won't know he's eating. <laughs> All right. <gasps> oh no! I put a hot. Oh, okay. What you see? What's going on, buddy? Hmm? What you see? Hmm? You're looking like this fire over here. Hmm. A little bit ghetto because we got to use mail, oh. but that's all right. Yep. We got the grill over there. Don't mind the pool in the background. <laughs> we gotta put that up soon. That <laughs> next one will be an in-ground one. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> nope. The real one will be a lake nope. on our property. Ain't that right? On Prop our side. property. There you go. Boom. Manifest that thing. Yeah. Nope. Oh. All right. So I'm gonna mix this in mm -hmm. with the hamburgers nope. and we're gonna get the grill up and running. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, and we're making s'mores now. My mom up there making some nice old s'mores. We got the, the grill in the back. Cooking us some burgers and hot dogs. Yeah, look at her. Look at them s'mores. Ooh, it looks so wonderful on the camera too. Don't it? Mm hmm Melting very nice. <laughs> yeah. Took us a little while to get the fire up. <laughs> we had it. Yeah, we, we had some uh technical some technical difficulties. difficulties. Yeah. I can't even talk. Technical difficulties. Mm hmm <laughs> But we, we got it now. Yeah. We got ecstatic. You want your marshmallow, Mally? Look, get the marshmallow. <coughs> yes! <coughs> cool. Excuse me. This looks so good on the camera. Woo woo. Malachi, say something, Mally. You want some some more? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we of got course. my sister with me. Mm-hmm. I don't know if she want to be on camera. On the grill. Oh. Hey. We on the grill. grill. She helping us out. Mm -hmm. You know, burnt up almost everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not almost everything, but. It's still edible. <laughs> yes. Still edible. Edible. Let's see. Let's let's try our luck with the s'mores, right? I will see. It should work. <coughs> Let me see. Let's see. Ooh. You want first bite? Yeah. Go ahead, Mally. First bite. It's hot. Hey. 
Hey, Monica. What are you doing? It's fucking cold hand in it. Let's see. Can I have a bite? <laughs> he even, he even eat it. Mm. He just touched it. Come on, eat, eat. You about eat, 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 eat. <laughs> he just ran off. What, what did you think, Ma? Not bad. Yes. It's messy, but it's not Shout bad. Out to you. What's good, Danny? Hola. Hey, look at her. She she going crazy on the grill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got the do. fire. Yeah, we had to throw some wood up in there. The wood, the trip. Look at it. Yes. Yes, Mr. Christopher birthday bash. I got on the the Haitians. Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> I E T. Mm -hmm. Yep. Look at her crush. She's really good. <coughs> I see why they like to go camping and stuff. Crushing. It was, it was more. more about to fall out. I know. Might to make me one soon. It's so sticky and everywhere though. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Pretty nice day. Nice weather. Well, I ain't gonna say nice weather because it's kind of cold, low key, but not bad. Not bad. Pretty good weekend. Just turned 20. Pretty excited. Mm -hmm. What a way to bring it in. Yeah. What a way to bring it in. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna crush them this more. <laughs> it's so messy though. It's good. Yeah. It's been about 20 years for me. Probably yeah. longer than that. Mm -hmm. I never had any before, so I don't know. Yes. I bet. Nope. I just been filming. But I once I get off this camera, I am. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and get off this camera. To the mm hmm They crush them. It's good, Mally. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Hot dog. Yep. The food was delicioso. It turned out very nice. Mm hmm Very nice. Pretty nice day out, just with the family. Stop it, eat. Had some some hamburgers and hot dogs. Mm -hmm. Had to be a little ghetto with it, but it's all right. And bread, s'mores. bread. Mm -hmm. Food's food. <laughs> yep. We had the s'mores over here and stuff. Overall, we had a pretty fun time. 